Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Michael Bartnick from Software Solutions Group. Today we'll be learning about GP navigation. This will be the first in a multi-part series learning about navigating around Dynamics GP. Today we'll be logging in G to GP for the first time and seeing or and reviewing a couple of GP screens and navigations. To start off, let's log into GP. I first double click on the GP icon which opens up a GP login screen where I first need to enter in my user ID which will be given to you and my password. Again this is the first time I'm logging into GP so I'm being prompted to change my password now which is only going to happen when I um, am required to change my password not every time you log into GP. Into GP. I change my password by entering my old password and entering a new password and confirming that new password. Now I can enter that new password in the login screen. I am then prompted to select the company I want to log into. If you have multiple companies in your GP, um, you'll have this drop down where you can select the company you want to log into. I'm going to use my Fabricam sample company and click OK. I'll automatically be um, opening up GP with the home page selected. Because this is a test company, a sample company, I have this notification telling me that this is a sample company. This won't happen for your live actual, actual companies. Seeing this is the first time I'm logging into GP, I'm being prompted to select the default home page I want to appear. These um, the selections are for the industry, so if I'm, I can select, um, I will say for today that I'm working for a wholesale and distribution company and I'm the bookkeeper. Selecting this homepage role does not affect your GP security settings. This is just the screens that you see when you log initially log into GP on your homepage. Again, does not change any kind of security settings. I click OK and GP will put the homepage role up on my screen. I can um, see the homepage role has different panels. Uh, with a to do, my reports, quick links, and this is all going to be customizable, which we'll see in a separate session. What I'd like to do today is get you a little more familiar with the GP screen to begin with before we start modifying it. At the very top, we have what is known as the address bar. So as we navigate um, to different areas in GP, this address bar will change. Um, so if I go into financial now, you'll see I'm on the home financial page. If I want to go back to my home page, I can click the back button to go back home, or I also have a forward back button to move back to the financial page I was just on. It's very similar to a web browser. And you can see I have a drop down next to the, the back, and, um, um, back and forward buttons, which gives me a list of recently um, accessed areas in GP. Below my address bar is my menu bar. So this works similar to a file menu and any, any other traditional um, application. The first option in my menu bar is the Microsoft Dynamics GP option. At the very top, when I select this option, I have my user and company and user date if I needed to change my user date. Um, if, I'm working, um, if I'm working in the prior month, I can change my user date, so all transactions default with that date. Or my user and company, if I needed to select um, log in as a different user or log into a different company. I can also make those modifications by going to the bottom. Um, you'll see here um, where I have my date highlighted, my company, and my user ID. By clicking on any of these, I can also make the change that I'm making from the drop down of the file menu. Back to my uh, Microsoft Dynamics GP dropdown, I have my edit, so your traditional cut, copy, paste, select options. Tools, this is where you access um, setup information, your utilities, routines. Um, you can also customize um, your inter any integrations, um, macros that you write um, can all be accessed through the tools. Um, you can also, anything that's um, the, the setup and the utilities and routines can also be accessed through navigation panels, which we'll see separately. 
our maintenance. So maintenance includes um, things like running your check links, um, backing up and restoring. Um, these are not used um, traditionally by um, your more common or more traditional GP users. These are more for uh, IT or DBA type users. Accessing your smart list, reminders, a task list, process monitor. If you have any processes going on in GP, um, they'll be highlighted by your process monitor, your report processing status for any word templates that you're processing, uh, user preferences, which we'll get into in a separate session to see how you can change these, your printer setup, um, and exiting out of GP. Next to our Dynamics GP dropdown, we have transactions. And when I cl we click on transactions, you can see that all of the different series, financial, sales, purchasing, inventory, and so on, that are available to us in GP have an option. And your transactions will include anything that's going to be um, creating a, a posting to the system. So for example, in, in General Ledger, you would have journal entries versus sales, invoices, uh, purchasing, you would be cutting checks, um, all live within and can be accessed from the transactions dropdown. Next to transactions are inquiry. So if we have read-only users, they might only have access to the inquiry and not transaction screens. Um, you can access and inquire on transactions, but you can't make any save um, saves or postings um, from the inquiry screens. And just like a transaction entry or transactions, all of the series are available. Next to inquiry are reports. So um, GP comes with um, many reports all across the series in uh, Dynamics GP, which um, you can run um, from selecting this dropdown and finding the, the specific report you want to go to. Your cards drop down. Your cards, um, if you think of a traditional paper type system, um, think if you think of a Rolodex, you would have cards within your Rolodex um, that are your contacts for your customers or vendors. So your cards are um, those master record files. So um, in financial, your cards would be your general ledger accounts, your bank accounts versus sales. You have your customers, your addresses, salespersons and purchasing. You have your vendors your buyers, um, inventory, you have your item cards, and um, across the different series you have, you'll have cards that are specific to the series you were looking at. So um, I'm going to go now um, to this and expand. I'm cl clicking this um, option on the right left hand side and just dragging and dropping to show you a little bit better. On the left hand side we have what is called the navigation panel pane. So this navigation pane um, is an alternative way to navigate throughout GP um, instead of using the drop-down menus from our um, toolbar selection up top that we just talked about. So we have all of the different series are available in our navigation pane. Right now I have the financial series selected. Um, I can go and select the sales series and you'll notice the content content pane, which is this section over here that I'm drawing out with the mouse um, that says sales at the very top, changes when I go between the different series on the left hand navigation pane. Back on the sales series now, um, you'll see we have these different panels um, across the screen. So we have six separate panels, one for transactions, cards, reports, inquiry, routines, utilities, and if I scroll down in GP, we have a setup panel as well. These panels are going to be um, consistent throughout GP, all of the different series you go to. They also should seem familiar from the um, menu bar that we looked at, or file bar we looked at up top, that had our, had our transactions, inquiries, reports, and cards. You see we have those all um, in our content pane as well. Whereas um, we also have panels for routines, utilities, and setups. Those routines, utilities, and setups, as I briefly mentioned, live within our Dynamics GP tools, setup, or utilities, or routines, and have all of this exact same options and screens um, that we see on our content pane in our panels. 
So that's going to do it for today. Um, and for our next session, we're going to get into the GP screens and go a little bit deeper uh, into a deeper dive into our GP navigation.